So a great race at Lingfield there with Stu and out Fontwell for the game spirit hurdle. And this is a grade two and the top one is If You Want Blood, Martin Leedham, Lily Lightning, David Robertson, Man Queen, Darren Howe, Seven Furlongs, Derek Hinton, Black Bene, Molly Et Surfer, Business Lady Alex Cherry, Doug's Plastic Paradise, Stu Gray, Knack, Grand Clutterbuck, Miss Scotland, Paul Rhodes and The Right Stuff, Joshua Sutherland. So ten runners this time then. The rain is coming down at Fontwell and away they go. Making their way towards the first flight of hurdles of this two and a half mile event, and there will be 12 of them to negotiate as they run across this dirt part of the track. Doesn't appear to be causing anybody any problems. If you want, blood is a little bit wide on the track around that turn. A business lady has settled down in the lead, no great pace on at this stage. Black Benet moved through into second. If you want, blood is third on the wide outside, and hopefully that one will cut into the rail at some point as they make their way towards the first of the 12 flights. They get to it now and they skip over it. They're all over it OK with Miss Scotland. Just the back marker at this early stage of the race and Business Lady showing the way out. So Business Lady races uphill then towards the second with If You Want Blood in second and the right stuff third. As they get to the second and all skip over that one nicely as well. With Business Lady, the clear leader, as they come past the picturesque stands. And we got to look from the other side. You can see the winning post is camouflaged in amongst all those bushes as they make their way out now for a complete circuit of Pont of Pontwell Fontwell even and it's business lady that's going to take them on that circuit in the lead so business lady in the lead then man queen is in second and the right stuff is third dog's plastic paradise on the inside of that one is four and then if you want blood five with miss scotland and black Bene, then lily lightning and seven furlongs with knack just the back marker as they race downhill now to the third skip over that one and all over that one okay as well with everybody traveling well within themselves and business lady comfortable in the lead by about five lengths at the fourth good jump there by man queen and the right stuff in second and third if you want blood is in fourth and the two horses in the black colors on the inside miss scotland and doug's plastic paradise as they go over to fifth and make their way towards the sixth flight of hurdles which will be the midway point in the jumping but won't come up for some time as they once again find themselves traveling across this dirt part of the track which some sort of all weather material i think i don't think it's just a plowed field i think it's some sort of all weather stuff anyway business ladies in the lead not quite sure what the point of that is i'm sure somebody might know I'll let us know and it's business lady who skips over the sixth in the lead with Man Queen in second, Miss Scotland has now moved through into third. If you want blood on the outside, four. With Doug's Plastic Paradise, the knack has got itself onto the inside rail now. It was on the outside earlier on as they take the seventh. And uh, seven furlongs is still the back marker. One would guess from the name of that one that it was destined to be a seven furlong horse at one point. And found itself two and a half mile hurdling for one reason or another. So past the camouflage winning post they go in on this tight front well track. They've got to go around again yet. It's barely bigger than Chester, this course, and Business Ladies in the lead, with Miss Scotland in second, and Doug's Plastic Paradise and Man Queen. After that one, Black Benet's moving up nicely around the outside, if you want, Blood has lost a lot of ground, and Seven Furlongs has been at the back pretty much all the way, whilst Business Lady has been in the lead pretty much all the way, and over that one they go, that was the eighth. And Business Lady leads by a length and a half to Doug's Plastic Paradise is moving forward in second. Then Black Benet is in third with Miss Scotland four and Nat five as they take that one. And they're all safely over that one as well. And they've got just three more to take now. And less than five furlongs to race. And Business Lady is the leader. Black Benet now looms on the outside. Doug's Plastic Paradise on the inside of that one. Then comes Miss Scotland and Lily Lightning. Then Knack trying to run on now is the right stuff. The back three look as though they've got a lot of work to do if you want Blood Man Queen and seven furlongs. But they swing in around this dirt part of the track again and then they'll be racing towards home with less than three furlongs to go and just two more flights to take miss scotland hits the front from business lady who's trying to battle back on the inside lily lighting looks a big danger duck's plastic paradise is going to need some room black benet has got a good position on the outside then naka switch back to the outside again over the second as they go and now it's lily lighting who's challenging miss scotland duck's plastic paradise trying to come between the two these three look out between them at the moment as they race down towards the final flight the right stuff is trying to run on but it's miss 
Scotland is in the lead over the final flight. Miss Scotland in the lead from Dogs Plastic Paradise. These two are pulling away, but Black Benet and White Stuff are trying to run on, but it's Miss Scotland. Dogs Plastic Paradise on the outside. Dogs Plastic Paradise gets up and Dogs Plastic Paradise raises to line, takes it. Dogs Plastic Paradise, the winner of the White Stuff, finished fast for second. Black Benet was third. I think Mark Queen may have been the last one to finish, but Dogs Plastic Paradise back to form for Stu Gray takes it the right stuff for Joshua Sutherland is second Miss Scotland for Paul Rhodes was third Black Benet for Molly at Surfer fourth and long time leader business lady for Alex Cherry hung on to be fifth